basically, uh, I went through different parts looking at what we have done. There are some definitions. It's a highly academic program, so defining and writing examination of it. This may be slightly a different style where you will look at knowledge in a critical style. Uh, that is why I made the word cyber system. I don't know how many of you understand what is Finder. You understand what is Finder? There is a great uh, famous movie yeah, starting with the Finder. Global warming became very famous after the great movie by Al Gore. What is that movie? Inconvenient truth. After that, British television made a movie which is called the, what is the movie? The Global Warming Swindle. Okay, swindle means or fake, hoax. Global warming is a fake, it's a hoax, there is no global warming. Similarly, the cyber gives you a lot of opportunity, but I am talking about what could happen if you don't do. Uh, use it in the right way. How much you can protect it using the rules and regulations and laws. I am not an expert in law, neither is a I am only a part. Maybe after some years I will become X. So what I am showing is from the other direction of what we can do. That's why I like to look at more ethical and uh, dharmic ways of looking at We have a lot of conflicts, moral conflicts, especially in this, this generation. This generation because none of us took birth in the digital world. We all migrated to digital. People keep asking, can you live without a mobile phone, without a TV and all that. I think we can. Not a problem. Maybe my son will not be able to survive without that because they took birth in the digital world. And they are most multimedia students. I keep saying my son can work on computer, watch the movie, read a novel beside, read another book, which may be this study book, other side, and maybe another earphone will be there which will be chatting with a friend and maybe some chitsi will start eating in between and get the scolding of the mother. So they are totally multimedia. But I think none of us can do two, three things badly. I am trying to learn that. How do we uh, chat parallelly, prepare for lectures and read something, watch TV, all that we are also trying to do. It. But we are not very comfortable with that. So similarly, when we uh, talk about the digital scenario, we see a lot of contradictions which may not be that comfortable. Therefore, we have a question whether it is moral, whether it is ethical, whether it can be done or not. The computer science of uh, such virtual scenario, because we are talking about the computer in the first part, you will see most of the words itself is not uh, moral. Because we can boot the system. I am sure if the computer was and, uh, made by Britishers, they will never make a word called boot the system. Kill the process. Start the system. No, these are not technical words. If you look at maths, physics, chemistry, engineering, medicine, you will never see such words. All the words will be aristocratic words which have origin in the Greek and Latin. When we speak about some uh, terminology also it is slightly confusing. See for example we have the word called the floppy. It is never floppy. The English floppy means it can be flexible. Right? But the computer floppy is not floppy, it is hard. Then why the name floppy came? Because traditionally the first one which they made was like a paper which can be made flop or you can flop it. Similarly, I have few questions on whether the word used is correct or whether the concept is correct, whether we are mistaken or we are trying to justify it. 
the other day I was sending one uh, two students, I was sending one uh, word called what do you mean by R? I'm sure people get confused and then we will start defining what is an R. Then I made a prefix to that and asked what is state of R. State of R technology means the advanced technology. So what is opposite of state of R? We have problems when we use terminologies and that is very, very critical because the definitions in legal terms are slightly confusing with what people can understand. I remember the intellectual property right, uh, some of the laws I took and then translated it into Malayal. Mother thing is Malayal. I had tough time because most of the terms we don't, don't understand and that is for the uh, people to understand. Human rights. The human rights are something which has to go to human to the law. Grassroot level students, you just want to read the book. So, I made cartoon pictures, and children are asked to, were asked to draw some pictures and put the book down and then put it. I conducted many sessions for teachers to educate them on uh, human rights. That was the way I conducted classes. Because translating something to the common people is something very, very interesting. And it is to be done in a different style. So that is why you look at ethical, moral values on uh, the cybernetics or whatever you want to call it. So moral, ethical dilemma we have. <coughs> ethical frameworks are utilitarian. The most good, yes. The most good is what, what creates most problems most of the time. If it is less used, it will create less problems. The common good, the virtue, these are all questions which you cannot answer. The principles of ethical reasoning, I, I can take each one of them and explain, but I don't spend that much time because it's only giving you some taste of, it's like a archer for you at the end of the wings. Okay, or maybe a street which I have trying to give you. So the autonomy has to be analyzed, the veracity has to be analyzed, the justice. By the way, I have a strong and legal background because the, recently my uncle has paid and he is the, the best, or he was the best advocate for camera. And all the judges are his students. TP Garunumbia is a legend in, he has written 26 books in law. So I happen to be from that family where I have learned uh, my basics. That's why when I came to Hyderabad, I thought I must do a law degree. So I learned the law. I remember uh, 94, I, uh, 91 or 92, I did a cyber law. That's how I started learning myself. I was from and later I happened to be in the strategic uh, analysis thing where our job is to look at uh, all the problems in So there is a, I don't know how many of you know, there is a, a big center in Hyderabad which is not, not which may not have a board, which is under cabinet secretary which is working only on uh, security. That's who want internet security, daily security and all. It's under police department. Okay. I was in that department in Delhi. And that department, in last three years it is coming to uh, getting set up. So it is going to be one of the hub for all the forensic uh, sciences which will do a lot of research on communications. Because uh, most of our Cargill bar was a big failure because of the security was not analyzed properly by defense department and the intelligence agencies. I happened to be in the intelligence agency training people was my job. It was a big failure. The Subramanian company said we have failed. The reason was we had a lot of people settling in along with villages and they were using a landline for not any other medium. Cables were used for communication. So you cannot anyway tapping or looking at it is not possible. Once it goes in space, anybody can look at it. Or if it is in air, somebody can pick it up. But once it goes on the cable line, nobody can tap. And uh, we have a lot of such problems in uh, finding out the crimes and putting people, training people and all. And you must be uh, hearing a lot of police uh, cases which are put on people and then putting into jail. Recently there was a human rights 
violation and case against uh, Maharashtra police. There are 300 old people in jail where they were not even prosecuted to court because the charges were not even able to make a the first time report itself was not made. And there are a lot of such problems in, as a strategy when you look at the security of the country if you look at it. If such people were not arrested, probably every day there will be one uh, bombing in every part of the country. So when police catches, you are not able to prove it, but such catches are for preventing them from, if you allow them not and uh, don't catch them, probably home blast will be there. After that you can catch there will be proof. But before that if you catch, you will not get proof. So sometimes all the discussions which happens in different places, maybe the uh, virtual uh, activity which happens is what is the proof. Some of the uh, best research which happens for the defense is what is used by uh, people like this. See for example we have the most secure way of sending data, the oral data from one place to another place or maybe a letter which can be sent from one place to another place which can be hidden inside a image and you look at it, it will be a picture with a rose color that will be what we can see on the uh, image but once I run a software on that the whole uh, rose color will vanish and I will get attached which may be a message which I have to send to somebody else so there are secret messages being sent and the person who used this maximum was Bin Laden so what is done in technical field will be used by uh, some people like that. Bin Laden, whom he is coming. You will see what he has done and how he has done it and all will come out. Now let us look at one word called the autonomy. What does is self and rule? Autonomy is self rule. So I am autonomous means we were just talking about the autonomous universities. And I make my rule. That's what is autonomous. The major ethical and legal issues the privacy is a big problem, the fraud is a big problem, ethical issues, non-network related use of the internet. Yeah. There are non-work related issues. Most of the offices will ban, saying that you cannot use. Maybe social networking sites are banned inside the office. There are so many companies. In our office when we were working, we were only able to use our internal email and we have got our server that may not be used. We were never allowed to use any Yahoo or Google or uh, Hotmail. Anything which comes in that will come to our server, from there it gets translated to our uh, net. That's how it is good. So there are non-related work. And uh, I was in Delhi in an office where the board is not there, so even a postal department, a postman will not know who are all the people. You cannot deliver letter to us. So the letter used to come 45 kilometer far in another office and another address. From there, every day somebody has to bring the letter to us. So you can imagine how physical security sometimes uh, much better than uh, all the security. Here, even if you ban all that, you cannot because the ethical issues are lacking. The legal issues are in place. Probably the security issues in terms of uh, computer security like firewall and all will be in place but the person who is handling the firewall has to be morally ethically right otherwise always there can be leakages so the biggest problem in our nation or any nation to that matter the crime is not because of the technology lacking the crime is because of the people who are involved okay. so the code of ethics has to be very specifically put in guidelines saying that what is to be done, either it is in a corporate web policy or in a government <coughs> policy. I cannot quote any of my office policies that I am using the word corporate. Most of them will be my office, but I will use the word corporate. Okay. So the privacy is a big collecting information about individuals. Now you have got, I call all the people who are working in the call centers as digital gurudas. You know, the job is that there will be one bank who you have taken some loan and you are due for payment. The whole information is given outsourced to some other company and the job is morning onwards try to call. I think earlier uh, the normal money lenders used to write postcard with an open, the cover, covered one is inland, right? The postcard is open to everybody. 
So if somebody has taken money to send a letter to offer card, the postman will read and the shop fellow will read it. Everybody will start reading. So he has to hide it. That is why most of the notices comes in open card. So that everybody will know that this fellow is a defaulter. So catch him. So you can imagine morning onwards you got telephone call from different numbers saying that you have to pay this much money to the bank. That is being contracted out. So that means your information of taking loan from some bank is not to some other company. You understood? There is a big problem. Most of the people use uh, card because I don't want my bank to know where I am paying. Private agencies. Private agencies. So Visa card is little safer than the bank. Internet online trading. If you book 100 tickets, your bank statement will tell you 100 tickets are booked, right? But if you use a Visa card, only the last statement will come. You, if you want only, you can know that. Therefore, you can hide. There are some things which are hidden like this. But when you are doing with the three, four different banks, your information is not to everybody. And you know, they will give it to different companies for advertisement. And you will get a call from somebody saying that, you know, every, most of the people call me and say that, sir, why don't you invest? I said, I am an old man, 80 years old, yeah. Sir, your statement says only 84. That's an old woman, 40 years. That's wrong. It is 84 years. <laughs> <laughs> they used to make a lot of jokes with the people who are telephoning to me to know how much knowledge they have about us. That is true, they know everything about us. It's dangerous. It's very dangerous. They will know every detail because whatever you fill up in the bank is ended not by the bank. It's all privatized now. And they copy all the information. Recently there was a uh, conference on informatics in uh, IP. I presented a paper called the Cloud Informatics. We have cloud computing. Where the resources can be shared and then used for computing purposes. That's called the cloud, cloud computing. I have a computer which is not used. You have a computer which is overloaded. Therefore, through internet, I can use my computer for your computation. That's called the cloud computing. Now, I am talking about what is called the cloud, cloud informatics. Where earlier, uh, Sam Petroda came with the card. When the first visa card came, the visa used to advertise saying that when you sit in a chair, you will not be able to sit because your pocket is bulky with a lot of money inside the purse. And you don't require all the money. They throw it out, showing that your money is not required for one single card. Now, I am sure most of you will have many cards, as many cards as you want. Right? All these cards become unfordable and it has become much more bulgy. <laughs> and here, flexible, uh, flopable uh, money has become now non flexible cards. Now, San Petrona is coming with one uh, uh, idea of having a single card with a different multiple passwords. But then, I don't know how successful it will be because no bank wanted to put all the information. What the problem will be, your informations are being... Now you are taking money from ICICA bank, an ATM. What are you doing? You are giving information to ICICA bank how much money you have in SBA bank. <laughs> you don't know when the print comes, the information is also being copied. So every bank knows how much money you have in another bank. You understood? So it's, it's a big problem. And most of us use same password. In WhatsApp, I don't know, we don't have to remember 10 passwords, so we use the same password. It's all copyable. See, the time you plus, plus in there, there are softwares which can copy what is your password. The other day, my Visa card, there was 150 rupees deducted from a uh, restaurant from UK. I thought, how can 150, what you can eat in UK with 150 rupees? Nothing. It's not nothing, it must have been a fake address. So I just bought my card. Soon after I got a call from my uh, son, his card is also used at the 10,000 rupees also. Don't. We cannot find a case, nothing can be done because none of our digital transactions are legally valid. None of us have that digital signature in place. So privacy is a big problem. We don't know where, what is happening. Collecting information about individuals and sharing it is by default design saying that it can be shareable because it's all shareable for commercial applications. If you say that I cannot share it, then you will say your SBA card, you cannot use it in other banks. You want that facility? The financial inclusion guarantees. Now today India is talking about financial inclusion. Financial inclusion talks about making ATM cards accessible to any other bank. Even the child you don't want. That means you are 
agree that my information can be shared with any other bank. So most of them are private banks. Even the issue check? No. Check is valid because it is signed. That is valid validation. Yeah, that is also. That is also become valid. Now the codes are being, that's why the 2013 January onwards they gave the new pass, uh, check book to everybody. The CFC code has to be there so that anyone is anything else. The protection of privacy is a big problem. Protection of privacy has to be looked at it. The intellectual property is, we will discuss about it in the patent part, that we in detail. I am only talking about the terms, the digital watermark, which I was just telling about the image inside that there is a uh, data which is that can be totally hidden or half hidden. It's up to you. And what is hidden, what is short, will not be what when you process it will come. It could be entirely different. Okay, so the coding systems are there. And yeah, I don't know whether all these terminologies are not here. So I was quite being crashing in all the files. Let's keep that. So Indian cyber crimes, I found a lot of them are. You know what is hacking? You know squatting? Yeah. Squatting is when the uh, when the domain is registered, I will register it and try to sell it to somebody else. See, for example, I was in Calicut University earlier. You cannot have calicutuniversity.com because the time you have got edu.in. There are org, dot org, dot uh, com and all that. Somebody will register. So by mistake, when you type in Calicut University, the first site what will come is dot com. But before typing edu dot in dot com will come, and you have a tendency to click there, and you will reach somewhere which is a private. So the university site will never be accessible to you. Therefore, ultimately, university will have to buy that. Correct. <laughs> and the fellow will go and ask. Then he will tell you, give me one code. I will give you the code. Finish. You are stuck. So you are actually making a lot of money. Make a lot of money. See, you get a lot of uh, such places where the financial institutions come with an advertisement and tell you it is a trial social for you to run for some time. And after some time, they, you get addicted to that. You cannot do anything out of that. That's one. Second one, recently one of my friends who is running a old age home in Kerala got an email saying that you know, we have two vehicles in Hyderabad which is owned by a Canadian doctor who left from Hyderabad to Canada. It can be given to you because the doctor has already telling that you know, this baby can be gifted to you. You come and collect it. So he telephoned and asked me, Mr. can you help me out the two vehicles available? What is to be done? Immediately the next call goes to that person again from one Andhra fellow who here telephones and tells that, Sir, we need a minimum money of petrol and the driver's cost. Please put 25,000 rupees in this bank account, you are getting two vehicles free. You understand, it has to be put before 11 o'clock. And the stupid fellow puts 25,000 rupees and he gets another call saying that I am at Koyakuntur uh, to road, already crossed uh, and we are reaching at the Kerala border. The customs people have called me and then I have to pay some money, please. We have to give to the, the 6,000 rupees into this account. Yeah. Again, having committed 25,000, why not the 6,000? You already reach in Kerala now. Got 31,000. The telephone number is not traceable, the uh, bank account is not traceable. Where, where is the telephone? If you look at it, it is not coming from telephone, it comes from internet. Known identity pattern, unknown number. Correct? So you have a lot of such phishing happens outside, but internet is such a great phishing, I'll tell you, if all of our bank account, one rupee is deducted per day from your account, will you know this? For a bank, how much money do you make? Proposal of rupees. So it's very, very simple. You will not know because it is digital data. I'm not talking about that. This is something on the information access, the account for some reason, if you give some information, that is getting phished. That's what it is. Okay. Cyber stalking on the internet. You can stalk on somebody's and then stop everything can will not happen. Now you know that IAPM UGC case which is very hot. So you are stalking somebody's. And the wishing. Wishing is another one. What is the wishing? 
the voice over IP is used for talking to somebody. You really fool people by doing this. You don't know who is that you are talking. The cyber crime in the top 10 tickets, you will see different numbers because it's not known who is really doing this. And reported and unreported. Just now I told you I missed money. We never report that. Right? There are so many unreported from India. But in US and all the efforts, immediately they report. Why do they feel not report? Because the procedure is so cumbersome, we don't want to go behind it. Let this thousand rupees or ten thousand go, but I don't want to go to a police station. Right? Or I don't want to go to an advocate because that will cost me much more than that and no guarantee I will get it back. Therefore, we never wanted to fight. So most of them are unreported, unreported. Most of the crimes in India. But with all that also we are sixth in the world. With not that much advanced development in uh, digital world. Nearly 54 percent of the people doesn't have electricity in India. So you can imagine how many people access. Maybe academic institutions including that is highly advanced. But the faculty there are not that advanced. I remember going to one of the best institute in Delhi for a uh, lecture in the morning. Um, morning 7.45 I had to be at the uh, room in the ground floor. 7.50 only the door will open. All the teachers, faculty, administrative staff, including principal have to wait. Because the door will open only at the 7.50. I mean, uh, 7.50. The 7.50 when the door opens, during the time 10 minutes, 8 o'clock only you have to get it. 8 o'clock the door will close and nobody can enter. So I was also waiting, who we went for a guest lecture there and we were talking. He said, yes, we are highly advanced, highly technical, everything is automated. And I went along with the principal, I sat beside, I saw the print was coming sharp at 8 o'clock. The absent is this. You don't have to do anything, it's all automated, everything is automated. And he has only marked. The extra teachers who don't have classes list will come. After this list will come, he will just put a mark and then give it to an attender. And the attender will pick up. Everything happens without even opening more. Totally <coughs> automated. Right? And I, I gave a talk, he said sharp 40 minutes. I know how sharp I have to be. So sharp 40 minutes I stopped. In between I spoke few things. That I am much more sharper than that. <laughs> Before going to the school, 10 days back I started looking at all the internet learned about the whole institute and I picked up all the email addresses of teachers, 145 teachers and had sent email to them asking them give me a suggestion what I have to speak in the program and none of them replied. <laughs> so I told you are highly technical but none of your teachers are technical because they don't even access the internet. Understood? So we became so sophisticated until we put them into a higher level. The people are not at a higher level. All the sophistication becomes which is learned only not by the legal people, the illegal people learn it much faster. So you have to be very careful. Okay? Most of our telephone usage are not for real purposes. Most of them are for useless purposes. Most of the social networking which happens, they will just say hi, hello, have you had your dinner? If not, what you will do? You are going to provide a dinner. How are you? If I am not well, what are you going to do? <laughs> a stupid question. I don't mind it. I make a joke of people saying that it is Wednesday here, is it Wednesday there? They will be asking for Malkaji grade to maybe Sakandraba. No? <laughs> is there a difference? Use of discussions. I think we are not making use of social network in the right style. Similarly, if you use it for good purposes, if there is a crime, no problem. Most of the people who don't have time, they don't have time for this. Those who have time, they use it unnecessarily, waste of time. So this is what is happening. In India, digitally we are well connected. This is what the connection shows. Rapidly growing online usage base. We are largest. The television viewers, we are the largest in the world. We cannot stand any day without television, right? If you don't watch or not, the sound has to be there. Otherwise, no electricity, no power. That's what our feeling is. So the cyber crime in India is also great. Large number, keep on increasing, millions. Millions of people are in the camps. The 2012 is much, much higher, increased. I'm sure this statistics must have been shown in your uh, earlier sessions. So I'm just skipping that. So we have what you called uh, maybe the cyber crime, but the punishment identification methods, I remember talking one of the uh, talk from one of the best 
cyber expert in police in Kerala. He's a DGP in that time. He was a DGP in that time. Seven years back, we were attending his program together. So during his talk, he said, I'm, I'm supposed to be the best cyber expert in Kerala police. But you know, if I want to get the password, I will go and take, take, take on computer and all that. With all my knowledge, I will not be able to crack the password. But then there is another method. Generally, if there is a internet coffee in which coffee in which I wanted to do the uh, real uh, investigation, I go there and I catch that fellow who is the operator there or the system assistant who is maintaining that. I call him, ask him, show me where is the toilet or the urine. So he will show me the path and I will take him inside. And by the time I come out, I will get the password. <laughs> the cyber also doesn't work sometimes. <laughs> Only real police works in cyber police also. Right? You understood how our Indian police will get uh, details from people, right? So this is the only method much faster than cyber. You can do most of the things. The violation of privacy, violation of all that, we have a different method of getting things done in such a situation where people are not that educated, that literate. The IT laws are not very strong in India. That is because we are not very, we are highly diplomatic for. That could be one of the reasons. So this has created a lot of problems. The cases reported, you will see where the highly educated people cases reported will be high. But that doesn't mean it is happening only in such places. It's there everywhere. It's only some indicative uh, levels of crimes which are shown. Is slightly old 2011 statistics, what I have. The factors such activities, antivirus, anti uh, softwares are available, fire, firewalls are available, cyber ethics classes are being given, the people are being used for such purposes. The, what will be the future uh, of the cyber crimes? The website will get more and more restricted. Maybe more and more threats can be identified. Therefore, we will have problems associated with that. Email spamming is one biggest problem. Therefore, be careful when you take informations or lay on such informations which comes on internet. Most of them are unbelievable. Because you can put anything. You can send anything. You can upload anything. And people will start quoting it from there and then giving you some information. So you don't know the source. That becomes a big problem. How for the police to catch the fellow who originated this? So transmitting. You know many such cases happened. In Bhant Thakare's case also you know what has happened. Just by putting some information you will be in problem. The problems and solutions are very easy. The electronic contacts, electronic contracts, taxing. The business, today everybody buys most of the things on my son buys even pencil, rubber, pad, everything on internet. Because he says, why should I go on to the shop on the road? They will supply it at our place. And it is much less than the normal marketplace. I remember when I had a target to see where the color has to be purchased, I went to the neighboring shop. It was costing 2100 on a net from US it came, 1400 rupees. So I saved the internet of this one We don't have to travel there, no traffic jam, nothing. On internet you can buy it. Now the biggest question, where is the tax? Who is keeping account of this? Where is the bill coming? The government aware of this? How much is being sold? It's much worse than the retail market in India. We keep saying that the retail market has to come to supermarket because the vegetable vendor and hotler is not paying tax. Therefore you want the international people to come and investigate to have large supermarket so that every vegetable which you sell, sell also is taxed, right? Now what about this internet marketing? Where Things are being purchased by most of the people, the costliest things. Everything is purchased through internet now. A lot of advertisements you can see. And nobody knows which is fake, which is right. You have to pay the money first and then the item comes. Many people are being fooled also. That's also possible, right? Because when 100 things are good, there will be another 1000 ones which are fake, which comes along. The fraud of the internet is a big problem. The identity theft. The third party assurance services, you have the trust, the trademark, these names are not believable because a small change in that also could become tracking. 
really they can trap. The seller protection, the seller itself cannot access the network in the protection box. That becomes a problem. Now, the cyber crime, there are a lot of crimes in India which people were caught because of this. The cyber crime evolution, if you look at it, it starts from the skips, the hackers, insiders, and then the cyber barriers. There are people who are ready to do anything. They will, they don't mind even being caught. There is a large digital divide in India. There are people who are literate, digitally totally accessible to everything. There are people who are not accessible to this. Uh, I was wondering when I was just talking about the uh, the great global warming movie where he got the Nobel Prize. I'll go. If you look at the internet, you will see the tribals from northeast have written on internet saying that Bill Gates is a great man. I don't know which tribal in northeast have access to internet and who puts this information, who knows who will be. Understood? So these are all fake. It goes up to the next day. I don't know what is the benefit of doing such things. So there are people with uh, doing all this to hide up even the digital divide. Either societal issues, the crack of the hacks. <laughs> I understood. Therefore, it is ethical. So most of the time, what we think is ethical or non-ethical is not the context in which it is used. Okay? So ethical hacking is one which people have a problem. The role of security and the protection, the penetration testers. There are a lot of hackers, crackers, and ethical hackers. Okay? So the people who are working are really crackers. You have to be looked at. The script, kidneys and pocket monkeys, the script, so many such words are there. There is a tiger box, there is a white box model, and there is a black box model, and there is a gray box model in the security process. They are used for different purposes. The white box is where it is used for the, the network diagram in a specific style where I am able to get the details about other. The black is from there, they come to the uh, firewall and crack it. So these are the models which are used. Like a tester's job, from here to the tester's job, whether I am able to get into the nodes or not. The certified performance uh, hackers are there. Now we have See, for example, backdoor was a real problem. When we had a lot of sites where we can send a bulk SMS. When there was a problem in the northeast, backdoor, normal people started flooding away back to northeast. The whole Karnataka government banned the SMS the state first. Otherwise, we will have a lot of problems. There are a lot of problems with the railway station. People were not able to accommodate. It. Just because there is a message saying that there is a problem, all of them want to run away. He asked, why do you want to run away? Because our relatives are not safe in Northeast. So you want to have a last look at them. That's why they are running away back. Otherwise, Bangalore is very safe. Actually, it would have happened the other way. People from Northeast would have come to Bangalore and settled there, right? Correct. Yes. But instead of that, when you have a fire, people start going there because you are logic losers. Because it was just SMS which was making people so panic. They want people to get back to Northeast. It was a unnecessary panic which made the place not at all warranted the who is sending messages you know who is sending messages they had the numbers who are working in Karnataka who has got connections of northeast all the private uh, uh, cell phone companies have these numbers it's very easy to send messages only to them you have to only hack one fellow right if i can hack airtel fellow and then got all the numbers who registered in Northeast or the addresses in Northeast who are settled in for Bangalore. One single program. I can take all the all those numbers and send the messages. It was never sent by the relatives of that. Because they don't even have you no know, such thought process in that place. So you can make a lot of panic. And therefore they banned all the things. That's why government said ban it. Okay? And this is one another case. You have to be very, very critical, crucial when there are uh, problems happening in the country. Don't look at it from our normal angle. Look at it from the strategic point of view. You will understand it is all normal. It has to happen in this time. Okay? That's why there are uh, the government is blocking UGC website. The I IAPM. The IAPM. The internet growth impact into business has gone high. 
the internet has made business too high. No way to uh, get, get to know. We have the largest uh, threats in the global activity maps. We are not that bad because we are not into high business. Because our Bombay stock market is not that great, we have only less traction. So in terms of the money which goes. The legal framework for the, uh, you require to have a good copyright, good uh, uh, laws in place, where your public domains are well secured, then only you can have a fair use of the systems and fair uh, business internationally. Otherwise, people will not be able to get into real commerce. I'm talking about electronic commerce. Ultimately, everything gets into business. Everything gets into business. So the whole computer system or digital system have to be looked at business. Now let us talk about writing a book. If I write a book, the same day it's available on the internet. Somebody scans and puts it. Even if I put it at the copyright, the copyright isn't bad. Even there are software systems where I can download the ebook saying that I am a member, I will only use it. But what is the guarantee I have got a copyright on that? I don't have, I have only a readability. The problem with this and the normal hard copy, hard copy requires money for it to be against this intellectual property. Because I keep saying, Bhagavad Gita doesn't have the first page writing who has written that book. Is it written? No, it's given free. The greatest books in the world doesn't have the author's name along with that. Because everybody knows. And India never believed in selling. We were believed in sharing. Right? Now everybody wanted to make money. So if you want to, when I chant some mantra, somebody will ask who has written. I don't know who has written. I don't know who's, who's made it. Yes. Recently there was a problem when uh, you know Yeshudas from Kerala. He sang some song. When somebody sings the same song, he started writing all the music directors to get the page If all of them have to share, in what ratio they have to share? See, we never thought about this until recently. But now what happens is, we have become a westerner. Everything is business for us. Earlier we were not into business. We were into love, share, care for others. We cannot. I think the Westerners have made everything into market. Right? So we have to be very careful. Look at intellectual property in that context, not in the textual context which you are studying. So I wanted to give you a different, that's why I said it's a racket. Okay? The, you can imagine the, there are copyright for your uh, birthday song. Saying that we have sung it and therefore you cannot sing in the same style. If you have to sing, you have to pay one dollar. Right. So this becomes a problem. So everything has got a, a, a Coca-Cola. Do you get the patent? The Coca-Cola mix. Bin Laden. And who supported, who made Bin Laden rich? America. They gave the patent. For how many years? 100 years. You cannot revoke it. <laughs> Finished. The whole Coke. You can imagine that every Coke which you are drinking, you don't know what is the content. And they don't have to reveal the content also. For every item you write, what is the content below? Coke? No. Because they no. Because if I tell you what is the content, you will know what I have mixed. Therefore, you can make another Coke. Right? So you cannot duplicate. Not to duplicate, they got a patent, and that is for 100 years. You know now, is it a racket or not? Patent becomes a racket. That's what I wanted to tell you. We learn something, we must know the difficulty in that, right? So intellectual property rights, I'm not trying to define, I'm just picking it up to remind you that word. That's the only reason, otherwise I would have removed all that slides. I'm not removing because all these words, I'm using it for telling something which I'm going to tell after some time. So the rationale behind intellectual property, the protection of rights, you must remember all this. National law and international law, they contradict many of the times. In March 16, the U.S. is going to make the change in the law. I don't know whether you were told about this, the early speakers. No. The earlier the patent was given, somebody, somebody talked about patent, right? A patent officer would have told this. Now, earlier, uh, if you have uh, submitted a patent, I will have to give it to you because you are the first person submitted. 
I don't care that a second person is the right here or you are the right here. If you can prove, I will give it to you. I don't even have to check your application. But now you have realized it is wrong. They have done all of mistakes. Therefore, from March 16th onwards, they are going to take all the applications and analyze who is the best and who has got the more right. You understood? India believed in this long back when the patient started to be said that we did not reject any applications and everybody gave, but there is a problem. In India, if you have to do it, you have to wait for a long time because all the application has to be analyzed. You don't know when who is giving, right? And it is a great process here. CSIR director Manshilkar asked all the CSIR scientists to tell what are your inventions which can be patented? Fill up the form. So every scientist writes name, Dr. Bhargava. Anything patentable, nil. He is a great scientist, he writes nil. Why? Because if you start doing this process for patenting, you have to write document, you have to write all the details. It takes much more time than doing the invention. <laughs> you understood? There was a joke which says, Ramanujan is a great scientist, right? He went to Hardy. The Hardy asked him, the Hardy made a statement saying that Ramanujan, whatever theorem he has written, people are still working on to prove it. How many? No, not one or two. Thousands of researchers in mathematics are trying to prove what Ramanujan has written some time back. Even now with advanced computers, they are not able to prove. Then once Hardy, who was a close friend of Ramanujan said, I wish Ramanujan could have written the proof also, so that we don't have to take this trouble. Right, no? But you know what the next sentence Hardy said? Nice that he has not written the proof. Because, if you have written the proof, he will spend some time for that. That time, he will not write another theorem. You understood? Yeah. If he has spent the time for writing the proof, he is wasting time. On what? Whatever he knows he is writing, right? <laughs> he, will, he will invent something new. Therefore, this is the same case. If I am an inventor, real researcher, I don't want to do any paper work. Understood? Therefore, why should I spend my time doing that? I am not an administrative person and patenting all these laws says, no, I have to spend a lot of time to this document, that document, write this document, that I don't want to do all this, I am a researcher. And then know what Prosecutor did? He started a patent office in the CSIR. You don't have to do, somebody else will do it for you. And many patents came. So therefore, it's a very cumbersome process. You have to look about what is to be done in this. So the patents, Exclusive rights are given sometimes. Now, now sometimes the advantage of it is some either individual or to the organization or to the who and how to be shared. It's a big problem in patent. It was not resolved very very uh, well even today. The non-obvious things whether it is to be patent or not. Or obvious or it to be patent. If it is obvious, why to patent? There are so many questions. There are so many knowledge which has with us which need not be patented. The utility, if it is already in use and many people are using, can be patented. These are the questions. You know the case what I am coming to. The you, where you can do that, whether it is in India or abroad, internationally. You know the money involved. For a small thing, you will have to spend a lot of money. It is not that easy. The patenting job is big problem. The most countries in US, the event is on. But in other places, a judicial person can do. On your behalf, somebody else can buy. But in US only inventors can do it. The 16th of March, the first inventor only gets that what is getting updated. The traditional knowledge is a big problem from India. You know the cases of Basmati rice, what else? What else? Haldi, then? Most famous few things are there. And it's a very famous case, you want to know who filed it. You want to know who filed it? Indians who are in US. It is not US people who filed it. So don't blame Americans. It is only Indians who filed this. So we have an international framework. Biopiracy is one of the biggest problem which Indians have to worry about. You have to know what can be patented and what cannot be. Now we have Kanchikuram Sari. Can you produce Kan Kanjiguram Sari in Hyderabad and then patent it? The regional name. Yes. That is very, very important. Then how can Karachi bakery be sold in Hyderabad? 
If Karachi Bakery gets it, you understood to know whether it is name or which is in practice which is for you. You have to, this is not, not solved. We don't know. We have a lot of such problems. Correct? Karachi Bakery is not famous in Karachi. It is more famous in Hyderabad. Now you have more problems. So, therefore you will create such contradictions are never resolved in this field. Therefore you will have problems. We have got a real problem because many of them are not trying for such patent. Uh, my brother was, uh, uh, he is now eco-tourism director. Earlier he was an SCST corporation managing director for Kerala. He started a Ayurvedic medicine under government of Kerala. In which he decided to take all the tribal medicines and then produce it in market. Right? And the patent can be given to the tribes. It was a good uh, phenomenon. And what happened was most of them, that is also the you know, Tani community, TANI, that's a very, very, very specialized people who do a lot of massaging, the medicines which are used in that will cure people very fast. What has happened is they were all doing it traditionally inside the forest, and those medicines were taken and then made a mix, and then the medicines were made. They got paid. Now what is that they are doing? It has become commercially very good, high productive. Therefore, what they do? They started making. Earlier it was in a natural forest environment. Now they make what plantations, and around that you will grow. There is lot of medicinal difference in the thing which grows natural and which grows in a plantation. The plantation is not natural, it is artificially created. And same medicine is used, the same content is given, but the effect is lost. Correct? It doesn't affect that well because it is not naturally grown. You have some medicines which you, uh, because you have to water it, you have to water every day. Instead of watering, what you do is, in your bathroom, the waste water goes there, right? So you just put the soap water every day, the medicine will not have that effect. It should not be given a soap water. You need natural water. So the what you give to the medicine is what the product should come out. Right? The milk which is available in Hyderabad, Vijayawada and America, all the milk doesn't have same quality. You know when we had a uh, union carpet tragedy, some of the work they were doing Arti Hotra Etna every day. And therefore, American people wanted to do research to find out why Arti Hotra Etna is so famous. They came and then found out that you have only little bit of uh, uh, cow dung which is being fired, and you put little bit of rice and ghee inside that, and you have to chant some mandra. So they did all that in America, but no effect. But in India, there is an effect. Then they changed it to the burden which is a uh, copper burden which is but inversely inverse pyramid. Environmental pollution can be changed, or situation can be changed with the Akhtimata. They started doing it, but not changed the only in India. And they exported the rice, exported the ghee, exported the vessel, and then started doing the same thing, no effort. Later from Vijayapada they exported powder. They found it's a large difference because cowder from Vijayapada is much better than American cowder. Another research paper. <laughs> and they found the cow dung is bad because cow is bad. So what makes the cow bad? They found all the food what is given to American cow are highly non-vegetarian. <laughs> because they give them biscuits for cow, which is manufactured in factory with the totally non-vegetarian. But Vijayapada cow eats a nice uh, grass. What it? So what you give is what you get output. No jokes, these are all documented. So what I'm saying, the protection of traditional knowledge geographically, the knowledge what we have for social and cultural, don't look for the economic and monetary fact. If that is what we are looking at, we are not doing the right justice to what we can do. So the international Intellectual property rights cannot be as it is applicable in Indian conditions because we don't believe in such things. The biopiracy is a big problem. The patenting, new turmeric, basmati rice, you already know that so There is a nice book on this, Pandana Shiva. You can read this. The, the counter on this, 
biopiracy. A lot of NGOs who tried for propagating, but they are also into business. Right? They call it as NGOs serving people, but it doesn't happen. This is the hammock that indigenous livelihood of the people. Otherwise, they are much more happy. So recently, I gave a talk on anthropology department which talks about the difference in the business economics and the natural forest to the plantation uh, people who are real business people. How do the these people now you know in uh, most of the SCST people government is giving one acre land and they can come out and then have a small area and Andhra government is also giving I think a lot of money for putting rubber plant. So what are we doing? The natural people we are transforming into Cash product people. <laughs> what will happen to them? They use, lose their original. Are they happy? Is it transforming people overnight? Is it possible? You are not supposed to do that. I remember one of my friends, when I was in cabinet secretary, one of my friends who is at the SP man. He came to me and asked me, Sir, I have a big problem. My son is studying in one of the international schools in Noida. And his social studies teacher says there are SCST people in Kerala and Tamil Nadu and all that. In Delhi you will not see them, right? In the textbook there is a description about them, these pictures. And this fellow who is from Tamil Nadu, he asks his father, Papa, next time when you go to hometown, you must take me to such people, I want to touch them. Because the teacher taught them they are untouchable. And if you can give some food to them, it is good. When you go, you carry some food and then supply and give it to them and all that. This fellow came to me and asked, Sir, what shall I do now? You know why? He is an SCST. He never told his son he belongs to an SCST family. So she wanted to tell him, if you want to touch an SCST, touch your father, right? <laughs> so this is the problem which we have to follow when we are living in this world when we are in a transition stage. We cannot change things overnight. That doesn't work.